Those of you who are taking listening and speaking today, I received a question about the phrasal verb depend on. So I wanted to share with you today a few websites that you can use to help you with different phrasal verbs or collocations, words that go together that are very specific and they're idiomatic um, to the English language. So the two sites that I want to share with you today, the first is Google Trends. The second is a Corpora website, I think will help you um, figure out, should I say depend on versus depend of or depend in? So let's take the phrasal verb depend on. So if I go into Google Trends and I use this term depend on, and I'm not sure if it's depend on or depend in, right? I can quickly see at a glance which term is used more often. I could say depend of. Okay, here we have now frequency. This just tells us, well, which of the three or more are the most common. And I think in some cases, uh, you might find that this website alone is going to be helpful enough in figuring out which one you need. Okay, I'm just using some other options here, depend around. Notice that this is really, really low. And in some cases, just by looking at the frequency, you might decide, well, this is probably just not the, uh, the option that I want. We have here depend on, depend in, depend of, and depend around. All right, so this gives us frequency. We can also use the EnglishCorpora.org website where it lists a lot of different types of corpora. Now, I'm not going to go into all of these, but I will show, share with you two that... Uh, that I like. The first one here is coca. And I can type in here depends, depend or depends on. And what's good about this is you can click here and it will show you examples other than frequency. It will show you examples of real text, authentic text where the term is used. So you can read these text and uh, the actual term that you're searching and see within the context how it's used. Right? So I can also go back here and see depends of. Now notice right away there's a lot less frequency here in this particular search. Right? But we have some cases here of depends of. Okay, and so this might be helpful for you to get some idea of what, how the term is used in an authentic context. But again, I would pay close attention to the frequency, not only just the examples, but also the frequency, both in terms of using this website, Google Trends, as well as this corpora. So it depends in large part. So this in, in large part, is actually part of the phrase in large part of, right? Depends in part. In part is a collocation, in part. In front of as well, right? So notice here it's not even so much the collocation depends in as it is the phrase in front of, in part, in part, um, in this case in part on, right? Uh, in the end is a phrase in particular, right? So notice that with the word in, it's actually part of another phrase that involves that word as a collocation, right? And so again, this gives you uh, good examples of what that looks like in part of. You see a lot of examples in part, in part throughout. Okay, so... Um, this is one corpora. I like this one the best, actually, because I like how it just gives you uh, the examples. Okay, so it looks like you have to register if you want to use it uh, fairly frequently, but it is a very good source for you to consider. Okay, so here we can also use Google. I'm going to select American English. We can say depends on. 
And this is nice because it gives you a historical account of the term and it shows how terms either become more popular or less popular over time. And the only thing that I'm not crazy about this option here is you could select under the year 2000, but it, it takes you to the books, in this case, it defaults to books, how terms are used. And so that's fine, but it opens up another uh, window here and it goes basically straight to Google. You could have done the same just by typing in under with the parentheses, the term depends on or whatever term you're looking for and search books. You could search all, right? Right, so I could have also chosen of, right? And you can get some information. So Google is also a help, uh, you, it will help you uh, determine the usage of a particular group of words, phrasal verbs, collocations. I think you'll be able to find a lot of what you're looking for. Some corporate really relate to different topic matters or subject matters. So uh, there, there's one here on movies, right? It just depends. There's a lot. Uh, there are some that are related to medicine. And so sometimes it's useful to search for specific corpora that are related to a particular subject matter. And you'll oftentimes then get a better search uh, when you're looking for certain terms. So I hope this helps. Check out corporate, check out Google, and check out Google Trends specifically to see frequencies here in a nice graphical uh, interface that allows you to visually see which terms or which word combinations are most popular.